Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, interesting uh, polygon as you can see in this uh, given diagram such that the horizontal uh, side lengths uh, are uh, 7 uh, units. This side length uh, is uh, 5 uh, units and finally this horizontal uh, length uh, is uh, 11 units. Whereas the vertical uh, side length uh, of this shape is uh, 17 units and moreover uh, these uh, diagonal lengths uh, are uh, 8 units uh, and this uh, diagonal length uh, is uh, 13 units and moreover uh, this angle uh, is being represented by x and now our task is uh, to calculate uh, this angle uh, x. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step in order to calculate uh, this angle uh, x. We must uh, calculate uh, this uh, vertical uh, side length uh, and likewise uh, this vertical uh, side length of this uh, given shape uh, as well. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle over here whose uh, side lengths are uh, 7 uh, and uh, 8. And we are interested uh, in calculating uh, this uh, unknown uh, side length. So therefore we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle. And here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square. And in our case uh, our hypotenuse is uh, 8. And I'm going to label uh, this unknown side length uh, as uh, lowercase a. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, a square plus our other side length uh, is uh, 7 square equal to 8 uh, square. I am going to subtract uh, 49 from both uh, sides. And here we can see this cancels out. So therefore... Uh, a square value turns out to be 15 and now I am going to undo this uh, square by taking uh, square root on both uh, sides. So therefore uh, our lowercase a value turns out to be square root of uh, 15. So therefore our this side length uh, turns out to be square root of uh, 15. And here's our next step. Now let's focus on this uh, another right uh, triangle whose uh, side lengths are uh, 11 uh, and 13. And we are interested in calculating uh, this uh, unknown uh, side length. So therefore we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle as well. And here's our Pythagorean theorem once again. And here in our case our hypotenuse is uh, 13. And I'm going to label this uh, unknown side length uh, as lowercase a. And now we are going to fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. So therefore uh, we got uh, a square plus our other side length uh, is uh, 11 square equal to 13 square. And now I'm going to subtract 121 from both uh, sides. And here we can see they cancel out. So therefore a square value turns out to be 40. 8 and I'm going to undo this square by taking a square root on both uh, sides. So therefore our a value turns out to be square root of uh, 48. So therefore uh, this uh, side length uh, turns out to be square root of uh, 48. So thus we figured out uh, our these uh, two unknown uh, side lengths. And here's our next step. I have dropped uh, this uh, perpendicular as you can see over here. And since this angle is 90 degrees and likewise this angle is 90 degrees as well. So therefore uh, this uh, side and this side uh, they are uh, parallel to each other. So therefore uh, these uh, angles are going to be alternate uh, interior angles. And both uh, of these uh, angles are going to be congruent. So therefore if this angle is x uh, then this uh, alternate interior angles uh, is going to be x uh, as well. 
And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, horizontal uh, side length is 11. So therefore, uh, this horizontal uh, length is going to be 11 units as well. And here's our next step. I have dropped uh, this uh, another perpendicular as well. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, side length uh, is uh, 7. And this uh, horizontal uh, side length uh, is uh, 5. So therefore, uh, this uh, remaining uh, length is going to be 7 minus 5 is going to give us uh, 2 units. So therefore, if this uh, length is 2 units, uh, then uh, this length is going to be 2 units as well. And we know that this uh, whole uh, length uh, is uh, 11 units. So therefore, uh, this uh, remaining uh, length is going to be 11 minus uh, 2 is going to give us uh, 9 units. And finally, now we are interested uh, in calculating uh, this side length. And now let's make an observation. We can see that uh, this uh, side length uh, is going to be equal to this uh, whole uh, side length minus uh, this uh, side length uh, and this uh, side length uh, segment as well. So therefore, uh, this uh, side length uh, turns out to be 17 and then minus uh, square root of 15 minus uh, square root of 8. And if we simplify this uh, expression, that is approximately going to be equal to 6.199 units. And now let's focus on this uh, right uh, triangle whose uh, this uh, side length uh, is uh, 9 and this uh, side length uh, is uh, 6.199 and now let's recall this uh, famous uh, trigonometric ratio tangent of theta equals to opposite side uh, divided by adjacent side and in our case uh, this uh, side length is going to be adjacent and this side length uh, is going to be opposite so therefore uh, tangent uh, of uh, angle uh, x uh, is going to be equal to our opposite side is uh, 6.199 divided by our adjacent uh, is uh, 9. So therefore, we can write our angle uh, X uh, is going to be equal to tangent inverse uh, of uh, 6.199 divided by 9. And if we use the scientific calculator, this is going to be approximately equal to 34.56 degrees. So therefore, our angle X turns out to be approximately equal to 34.56 degrees. So thus our angle X turns out to be approximately equal to 34. 5, 6 degrees. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.